Hello. Dear friends, participants, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable dignitaries participating in this session. I, on my personal behalf, and on behalf of the World Psychiatric Association, brings greetings for the International Conference of Hellenic Medical Diaspora. Medicine and Greece are two integral components. The modern medicine owes a lot to the Greek physicians, scientists, and the notable people who have led the world in the field of medicine. This program is very impressive and brings science closer to the academic and research knowledges. Unfortunately, I was unable to attend in person, but I feel so grateful that the organizers have asked me to send a word of greetings. Congratulations to the organizers and all the best to the distinguished leaders of medical specialities and participants. I'm also pleased that this forum has got the blessings from the Department of Mental Health of the Greek government and that really shows the interest of the government and the policy makers in updating, helping and supporting medical professionals. Thank you very much. So thank you, uh, Mr. Zavid. I think we do have Mr. Zavid uh, online for uh, yes. a live session. Yeah, that was pre-recorded. Sorry, I thought that uh, uh, you, you are remotely connected, but we do have now uh, live. So you can add or comment to your pre-recorded message, uh, Dr. Well, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, and I'm really grateful and uh, obliged to the organizers for bringing uh, this very important topic specifically related to the quality of life. And as we have uh, listened to different dimensions of quality of life and then the uh, emphasis by the Honorable Minister about the links of mental health with quality of life and the great work that WHO and the government of Greece are doing. I think I will only just take a couple of minutes to emphasize that when we talk about the quality of health care, the importance of mental health becomes even more important. Many of you must have seen the latest WHO report, which emphasizes about the impact of COVID on mental well-being. That clearly shows that whenever there is an issue of quality of life, well-being, care, the immediately we start thinking about the mental health. And the important and very popular slogan, no health without mental health, again, emphasizes and give us the backing of this particular concept about strengthening the quality of healthcare. I'm sure these deliberations will help us and more importantly, that will generate some more interest among non-psychiatrists and non-psychiatry specialities, looking at the ways and means, how can we improve the well-being of our patients, even if they may be coming to cardiology 
orthopedics, oncology, diabetology. And the issue of comorbidity of physical disorders with mental well-being is now well established. I would like to emphasize that World Psychiatric Association and thanks to Professor Fontelakis, who is our Zona representative representing WPA in this region, that we are promoting the concept of comorbidity. Comorbidity of physical and mental disorders. Comorbidity looking at different dimensions of physical and mental health. And we hope that this issue will be strengthened, not only at our clinical, academic, or research levels, but also at the level of the policymakers. And the best example we have seen is the interest of the health ministry of Greece in terms of having a dedicated and very talented minister who is looking after the mental health. So thank you very much. And I wish all of you a great success. Thank you. Thank you very much for your very nice uh, intervention and for putting uh, such a nice accent on the issue of quality of care and the links, uh, quality of care, mental health, also food and nutrition. And, and it's, it, it's really interesting to uh, realize that all of this is coming together. And thank you very much for taking your time today. It's really a great pleasure. And I'm sure we will be collaborating more uh, with the quality of care office in, in Athens and with this uh, future collaborating center here at the University of Saloniki. So I think that we will now move to 